after that so the most important that one the means i am going to cover the one framework that is what bootstrap okay so a little idea about the bootstrap how we can use the bootstrap so some content uh, i am going to cover that one okay so after completion of this uh, ui part means uh, just a short time we are going to cover that one okay some javascript concept i am going to cover that that is for uh, most relevant and most useful for our uh, django training okay so after that uh, after completion that one then we are going to start over the real uh, uh, real means uh, training that is what uh, django okay real framework that is what django because and if you don't know the some basic idea about uh, how the request and response is going html says javascript also and bootstrap so that will be very difficult okay so that's why the better way i'm going for uh, uh, seven to means uh, some seven or seven to eight days for uh, discussing uh, 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 front end technologies like that way okay we using a uh, bootstrap also so in the last class what we discussed we started uh, discussion about what what is our class okay full stack django in that we are providing html css javascript the videos as well as i am going to cover the some session of uis okay so the django what is a django d is a silent so it's a open source and free uh, open free and open source uh, web application uh, we are going to develop the web application using the django okay that is completely written in the python and who is maintaining dsa okay django uh, software foundation right so this is official website and who created right uh, that is also we have discussed in the last class okay so the basic terms we discuss what is full stack websites library framework framework stacks okay some uh, python uh, important frameworks okay so that things uh, what are the front end back end uh, any databases right we have discussed like this way right so in the today's class we are going to discuss uh, uh, next thing that is what what is a django okay so save as this one we know already okay let us save as this one first okay so we know uh, yeah we discussed that is what what is django okay what is a django it's a framework okay so it is uh, python's it is what python web framework right what is framework so the things are available for the developer in the framework so minimum uh, minim in the minimum of code you can write okay we can develop the application and it is used to develop the what web application right so python is what multi paradigm multi paradigm programming right it's what uh, multi para diagram programming right and also uh, for the web and okay so what is a python we already seen is a multi type uh, multi paradigm programming that is for classes object everything okay then uh, we seen what is web okay so web technology what is what is meant by web collection of resources right okay so what is web that we have already seen in the last class that is what collection of what resources right so collections of uh, resources e resources right e resources okay e resources okay next one framework okay so the framework we discuss what is it is collection of what it is the platform we can quickly develop the web applications okay it is a platform for what uh, developer right what is framework it is a uh, uh, it is it is the platform okay it is the platform to develop web applications quickly right quickly we can develop the web application we no need to write the entire code okay only just can create projects so automatic uh, some files are uh, supported files will be created okay right so this is because of the framework next uh, or you can say 
ओके और यू कैन से वॉट वेब फ्रेम वर्क इज अ परफेक्शनिस्ट विथ डेड लाइन्स ओके कैन से विथ मन टेक्निकल टर्म दि वेब वेब फ्रेम वर्क ओके वेब फ्रेम वर्क फॉर परफेक्ट निस्ट विथ परफेक्ट निस्ट विथ डेड लाइन ओके दिस इज मोस्ट पॉवरफुल टर्म और यू कैन से दैट इज वॉट इट मेक्स इजियर इट मेक्स इजियर टू बिल्ड टू बिल्ड बेटर वेब एप्लीकेशंस मोर क्विकली ओके मोर क्विकली विथ द लेस विथ द लेस ऑफ टाइम और वी कैन सेल वे लेस ऑफ टाइम ऑल्सो लेस ऑफ कोड ओके दैट इज द थिंग राइट इट मेक्स इजियर टू बिल्ड वेब एप्लीकेशन मोर क्विकली ओके विथ द लेस ऑफ कोडिंग राइट या सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस इन द लास्ट सेशन ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ also also we seen what a history of uh, django right also we seen what a history history of django as well as we all already seen um, um, what uh, who develop you know all, all this thing who develop okay who that two programmer create the two programmers who have created that th Uh, Django, okay. So, Adrian. Then uh, second one is Simon, okay. Simon, sorry, Simon, right. So this way, programmer created where newspaper agency, okay. And the name is given by uh, the famous guitarist. What is what Django, okay. Django Reinhardt. Right. So the name is given by the Django Reinhardt. Okay. So here initially, two thousand three. So in two thousand five. So they have decided to go with. this name okay right decided the name as django from this one okay now so what are the websites okay so what are the websites are developed by using the the django framework okay or use nowadays the django framework okay let us see the websites which are built okay the website which are built With Django, what are the website which are built to the with the Django? Okay, what are the websites are built with the uh, Django? You know the most first. That is what we already use. Okay, we already we daily use that one to share our photos. Okay, social networking site. Which one is that one? Instagram. Okay. this site okay this application built with django framework okay then next one is what mozilla okay mozilla next one is what discuss next one is what ah uh, pinterest okay right next one is what built bucket okay 
that use rest api and everything in the django okay django rest how to deploy the project big bucket heroku right ah the next one is what d uh washington times okay next uh that use what uh, nasa also okay then uh then 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 next one is yeah yahoo maps okay yahoo maps that is also built in what django then ninth national geography okay national geographic okay next uh, the tent in the word onion okay so let us do the some google okay the website is built with django okay yeah search so you can see here the websites are built with the django that is what instagram discuss bitbucket the onion washington post okay netflix national geography you know yeah so most top 10 most okay these are the what top 10 dropbox youtube right this all are built with what django okay so what are bigger applications that is built with the django next okay next now let us move here so what are the django features what are the features okay what kind of uh, the django providing the features right let us see what are the features for the django the django features okay the features right then what kind of features are providing the django okay so first is what that is orm okay object relational mapping okay so that is replaced for the databases right inbuilt you know in build uh, uh, in the django there is an inbuilt database okay sql light okay orm okay object relational mapping so don't worry we have this concept we'll discuss later don't worry just uh, keep in your mind that is orm is only for what databases right a database storage mapping the database like this way okay so what is orm we are going to discuss later okay everything will uh, discuss later then next feature is what mvt based architecture okay so i think we you know that is mvc and uh, mv okay uh, okay if you don't know mvt that is okay because i am going to explain what is mvt but uh, if you know what is mvc do you know mvc based architecture okay mvc architecture yes do you know mvc architecture okay you don't know mvc architecture oh my god so every application is built okay so frameworks are built on the base on the mvc or every framework that follows the mvc or mvt architecture so we are learning the django 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 follows the mvt based architecture okay so the little uh, some importance about the mvc okay so mvt will discuss when we install the django i will discuss later okay but uh, short intro of mvc and short intro of mvt right now i am giving to you so m stand for here what model v stand for here what view and c stand for here for controller okay every framework that follows one architecture that may be the mvc and mvt okay so you know in java that follows all java php dot um, uh, net that follows what mvc architecture okay mvc architecture that is what model view view controller okay so model means what database view means what front end controller means what giving retrying the data from database and give to the representative view view means front end okay gui form okay then model means a data okay and controller means a business logic right so better way so i'm going here the google so i'm going to show you the 
एम वी सी डायग्राम ओके एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर डायग्राम ओके एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर ओके इन जावा और एनी अदर थिंग ओके एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस इमेजेस यू कैन फॉलो द एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर ओके सो एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर राइट एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर चेक हियर एम वी सी सो मॉडल व्यू कंट्रोलर ओके सो यूजर वॉट वॉट यूजर गोइंग टू सी ओके व्यूज ओके व्यूज मीन्स फ्रंट एंड व्यू मीन्स फ्रंट एंड राइट यूजर इज इंटरक्ट विद द फ्रंट एंड ओके देन दैट व्यूज आर कनेक्टेड विथ वॉट मॉडल ओके दैट इज डेटा बेस ओके सो यूजर रिक्वेस्ट ओके डॉन्ट व्यूज means a uh, user can enter the data the views then back end is there that is business logic means a controller class okay that manipulate the data from retrieve the data from databases then it will be view okay and user can uh, view that okay that is what one of the basic architecture mvc architecture okay that is what take the another diagram also okay mvc architecture okay right controller means business logic so we can give giving here request and response okay model means a database okay update and a data okay view means representation okay that is presentation layer right presentation okay that is what mvc architecture but but python means a django does not follows the mvc architecture okay django follows only mvt architecture okay mvt okay so that is the thing okay this is mvc architecture guys okay so is mvc model view controller model means data okay controller means business logic okay you can write the business logic view means presentation that's it okay itna yaad rakho okay that is very important view matlab front end okay let us i am going to open one application so facebook.com okay now you can see what you are going to see first of all you are giving the request okay http request to the server then http uh, that is the server is giving to the response okay the web is opening okay here is what presentation okay this is what presentation layer okay means view view then user entering the data then clicking on something and then background there is a business logic that is written in what that is what controller okay that is what controller so controller is giving the data from what model model means database okay model say retry okay that is returning from the model and giving to you okay again taking the request response okay taking the request from client giving uh, sorry taking the request okay to the from the client okay then give to the response or give to the server server again give the response to the client okay like this way okay this is what mvc based architecture right but uh, python means a uh, dozen means a uh, django the django doesn't follow the MV, mvc based architecture okay that python follow which architecture mvt okay here model means a data and view means business logic and t means template okay quite difference okay oh my god quite difference okay see m for model that is database okay but view v for view that is okay but okay and here uh, t for what template okay t for what template templates means that is what presentation layer okay that is a pre presentation right and what is views guys then in mvt means in the django we are going to write their business logic in views okay oh my god that is quite difference okay in the traditional we follow the mvc based architecture okay but the django doesn't follow the mvc it's follow what mvt based architecture okay so m for model model means a data okay that is related to the data okay view means a presentation okay ui okay presentation okay controller means business logic bl okay but in the django model means a data that is okay okay but view means here what business logic okay means server side technology you have to write here okay the t means for presentation so this is follows what django follows mvt architecture okay so once we install the django then again i am going to explain this one by practically okay what is template what is view and what is model i will explain practically don't worry okay so just uh, 
to know because of the Django's feature that is ORM and this MVT based architecture. Okay, that's the things we should have to know. Okay, up to this uh, the, uh, discussion. Okay, next one. So, this is the features, right? Great features. That is what great features of Django. Only uh, Django framework follows the MVT architecture. Other framework not follows. Okay, only Django is following MVT. Okay. Other frameworks are following what? Spring, Spring Boot, that um, Java frameworks that follows what? MVC architecture. Okay, next one. Next features. Okay, everything we will see the practically. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, next, next. Okay, uh, what is next? Uh, yeah, so rapid development and fully loaded. Okay, that is what rapid development. Okay, rapid development and okay, sorry, fully loaded. Okay, rapid development and fully loaded, right? So once we uh, enter the keyword sites what Django in Google, so it will give the term that is what uh, rapid development. Okay. Okay, so it's a rapid development, clean, pragmatic, right? The source from the GitHub. Okay, high level framework, right? Rapid development. Yeah, next. Let's provide the security. Okay, next. It's a feature. Okay. Before learning the any programming, any framework, any technology, you must have to go for what features, right? Always we go for the features. What is use of this one? By using these features, we can develop the applications, right? What kind of uh, what kind of uh, features are providing this one? Security. Okay, what kind of security? That is what uh, SQL injection attack, then cross-site scripting, cross-site request. Okay, or agree. So that is what type of security is providing. Okay, so let us check here the security of this Django. Okay, features. Okay, features of Django framework. Okay. So security purpose. Okay, enhance security, right? So, because of this SQL injections, see that one, don't worry. Uh, see any other. Okay, versatile, secured. So, for the security, uh, no, uh, so that is avoid many common security mistakes such as SQL injections, right? Cross site request, forgery, etc. So it's a user authentication system that provide a secure way to manage user account and password. Okay. So the security in terms of what? Uh, the uh, SQL injection, cross site scripting, a request for agree request right like this way so SQL injection attacks may be there okay so it provides such type of securities right so when we start with uh, the uh, validation then uh, cookies sessions security okay we'll discuss everything practically don't worry which type of security is providing the, the Django okay next it's a scalable and open source okay that is what scalable scalable and open source 
okay open source we know already that is also the one features okay open source oh spelling mistake okay open source right scalable and open source then versatile okay that is what versatile small small applications you can create a big application org organization for government also okay so that is what it's a versatile so that means we can create a small application as well as big application that is for what organizations are for government okay any organization you can create application for that one or etc okay that is a versatile then next features is what uh, it's a lts lts means what we can say long term support okay that provide a long term support okay long term support and and smart and also smartphone friendly okay and that is why it is very important okay smartphone friendly know the application that is what instagram next okay then can create the forms and uh, generic generic views okay what is generic views and forms everything we'll see don't worry don't worry about this one okay once we install the django and we are going to write our first project in the django then you can understand this one then we are going to start with forms then views what are the generic views what are the uh, what will be our uh, uh, what uh, what kind of uh, problems we are going to face while installing the django and executing the park while creating the project while executing the project how many steps are required everything will go when we are going to install the django don't worry about this one so that in that time you will definitely understand what it forms and what is the generic views okay uh, then pagination okay pagination pagination means uh, how the data is going to be uh, see in, on the first page mean the one page okay suppose there are uh, 100 records so in each in each page i want to display only the 10 records right so that is what paging concept right only 10 record must be displayed in the one page so what that is a pagination right that is supports next one is what simplified urls okay that is most important what is that simplified urls okay simplified urls okay so you will really enjoy this session django okay because that is very completely different okay from java technologies right it's completely totally means uh, difference from uh, swing spring hibernate so no so it's a complete framework to develop the complete web application okay django is the complete framework to develop the complete web application so that is once you start once you uh, start uh, django once you write our first project and next project then you are really get enjoy okay so a lot of things we have to do a lot of uh, steps you have to do then once you familiar with the step then you will be also habitual okay but practice is more important if you not did the practice here so that means you do not understand anything okay only watching the videos and listening this uh, audio nothing is going to be happen okay you must have to do the practice okay because there are the, some lot of steps you have to do while creating the project okay so now so some features i have explained and written here so you know about what mvc and uh, uh, mvt architecture so just i am going to give the some information once again okay so mvc based architecture now you can tell me what is mvc who follow the MVC and MVT architecture okay these two types of architecture are available for developing the any application okay that follows here okay architecture right MVC architecture okay 
so when we start learning any programming language i think you learn the java okay core java so there is a concept you no know, mvc architecture right so that is very important okay mvc based architecture yeah so mvc architecture that follows java right so it's what there is what model then view and then what controller okay m stand for model v stand for view and c stand for controller so in mvc based architecture java you know java frameworks are the mvc based architecture okay spring spring boot right and you know so java sorry model model means what a database okay model means database okay that is you can say uh, a back end okay model matlab hota hai back end that is what database okay or you can say uh, back end database or they where we can store that is what storage okay that is what storage ah uh, okay so here we can write here what db logic means a database logic okay database only database related model means data okay model means data okay can you can keep in your mind like this way data model matlab data hota hai okay that is database right and what is the stand for view in a uh, mvc based architecture view v means view okay that is what presentation okay presentation view okay view means presentation okay we can say that is what front end right this is what front end or not yes presentation means front end okay this concept are very important interview based question as a fresher definitely ask django follows which architecture mvt architecture okay what is the difference between the mvc and mvt architecture okay please explain the django architecture 100% question is for what fresherer 100% 100% question for the fresherer in the django interview what explain the mvt architecture or simply explain the django architecture okay first of all they will ask you django which kind of architecture is follows okay which architecture is follows by the django Sudden, suddenly you said what yeah, mvt based architecture can you explain the what is mvt based architecture yes you have to explain what is am what is uv what is t and the uh, functionality or then uh, uh, explain then flow flow yeah we have to explain that one so don't worry once you uh, start writing or once we start creating the project so you will definitely understand so before creating the projects so what is do, uh, just to take the one understandable theoretical knowledge what is view control view model like this way okay so here view means what front end okay view means what front end matlab ui technology will be there right that here is what ui technology right ui technology so what are the ui technology guys uh, you know html css okay js okay css js then uh, jquery okay jquery sometimes angular js okay angular Re Angu angular react whatever okay angular react whatever right so these are what front end okay that is written in this technologies okay that is a view means a presentation okay that is what you can say in the bracket i am writing what presentation okay presentation so you know in my videos in the html css javascript videos ui technology i have explained everything there okay how the web application is work what is the presentation layer what is the business logic okay what is the database layer everything i have explained there okay then controller okay controller controller okay controller means what coding okay where we can write the coding right that is what you can say business logic okay you can say here we can write here what business coding or business logic okay we write here what business coding okay yes that is the thing so that is what business logic means uh, functions business logic or coding that means what we create here what functions we call procedures okay we call here what procedures 
एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ओके एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द कोड एवरीथिंग राइट विद टेक केयर अबाउट दिस वन आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द एम बी सी ओके सो जावा फॉलोज द एम बी सी डॉट नेट फॉलोज द एम बी सी आर्किटेक्चर ओके बट पायथॉन फ्रेमवर्क फॉलोज ओके जैंगो यू नो जैंगो फॉलोज द एम वी टी आर्किटेक्चर ओके ओके सो एम वी सी मीन्स मॉडल व्यू कंट्रोलर हियर मॉडल मीन्स डेटा बेस व्यू मीन्स प्रेजेंटेशन मीन्स लव यू आई टेक्नोलॉजीज कंट्रोलर मीन्स वेयर वी कैन राइट द सर्वर साइड टेक्नोलॉजी और बिजनेस लॉजिक ओके नाव मूव टूवर्स अवर एम वी टी बेस आर्किटेक्चर ओके जैंगो फॉलोज एम वी टी आर्किटेक्चर विच आर्किटेक्चर फॉलोज द जैंगो एम वी टी ओके जैंगो फॉलो ओनली द एम वी टी आर्किटेक्चर ओके लिटिल बेस ट्विस्ट हियर ओके सी सो हियर यम स्टैंड फॉर वॉट मॉडल ओके डैट इज ओके ओके एम स्टैंड फॉर वॉट मॉडल सो लेट एस आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी बेस दिस ओके yeah right let us i am going to copy paste right and here uh, mvt architecture means what that is stand for what mvt means model view template okay 100% interview questions okay mvt architecture okay django follows the mvt based architecture okay so what about view that is very important okay what about view in what django framework okay in django mvt based mvt architecture right so here view means that is what is not here view means uh, fronted here view means business logic okay view means where we can write the business logic okay so how model view templates and really we are going to create that one don't worry this you can say when we create our one first of project you will definitely understand by the practically what is model okay what is view right view means in mvt architecture view means coding where you can write your business logic right and what is mean by then template okay t stand for what template okay i'm sorry ha uh, t t stand for what t stand for what templates okay templates so template means here that is your front end okay that is what your front end here right we need to do like this way here right what we have to do here what we need to do here mvc mvt based architecture okay django follows the mvt architecture means we can create the model model means a data database okay view we have to write the business logic in where views dot py okay views dot py there is a file okay python file will be there once we create the project then the templates in the templates you have to write here the html code okay means in the django framework you can write the you have to write the html code in the templates okay template files okay all are available there you just have to open it and you have to write the code that's it okay it's code minimization okay i hope you understand this one mvt architecture okay so this is what mvt architecture and the next one is what is the django architecture okay so django follows what mvt architecture okay django follows what mvc or uh, mvt architecture okay yes so the django architecture this is just uh, information i have given about what M what is mvc architecture and about mvt so again and again i am telling that uh, django follows the mvt architecture okay so now what is a django architecture so that will 
you know that is mvt django follows the mvt architecture that's it okay but practically we will explain later okay so after installation okay so here i am writing after installation i will explain okay i will explain later okay after the installation right practically i will explain that django architecture okay right okay so this is about the, some story right so we already know about something introduction to the web technologies okay uh, here full stack python okay something we have seen right so now let us we are going to start our session with the web technologies that is what html okay so here uh, some introduction to our html technologies okay some fast means just uh, boosting for means just recalling purpose i am taking that one okay introduction to web technologies okay or you can say the terms okay so what is wave collection of e-resources we know right okay this is what collections of electronic resources Let us call what wave who is the father of uh, father of e resources tim burner lee you know already okay about this one we already discussed right uh, is the father of uh, is what sir tim burner lee okay he is the father of html right also is this uh, design what uh, also is imp implemented www okay so he uh, created world first website okay world first web page okay yesterday's class i already uh, shown to you in the last class right world first website he created first wave website also with url okay that's the thing so what is uh, w3c you know when we go to this world first website okay so there is a one organization that is following now taking taking undertaken that was w3 okay not a w3 school okay just w3 okay browse world first website world wide web okay then so now official uh, no official company that is what world wide web consortium okay w3c okay browse world first okay browse the first website you can browse using this simulator okay okay sir the birth of the wave so now it's running uh, managing what w3 organization okay 
W3C, W3C, okay? This organization, World Wide Web Consortium, okay? W3 organization, okay? So it's the international community that follows the rules for the www okay for internet okay every internet okay so that is what w3 organization that's it millions and billions are website trillions uh, websites are running okay that follows what uh, we all of you follows that one w3's rules okay so this is what official website okay that is also responsible for creating this one at Sir Tim Berner Lee. Okay, next. So, what is W3C? Okay, is created. Who created Tim Berner Lee? So, this is what World Wide Web Concert EM. Okay, World Wide Web Consortium organization who maintaining the World Wide Web Consortium W3C. Okay, is an organization. So it is an organization to maintain web standard. Okay, that is maintain what web standards. And it was found. It's provide a website standards. Okay, and it was found. And it's what so yeah, it is founded in uh, in nineteen ninety four. By who? Sir Tim Berner Lee. Okay. Tim. Okay. All this thing because of him. Okay. So we are learning, we are creating the e-resources, websites, was because of Sir Tim Berner Lee. Okay. He is responsible for everything. Yeah. So right now you are creating websites and you are delivering the tutorials or everything they are doing the business with the websites right because of sir tim bernerly okay next one some little bit idea about what is network what is internet okay how the terms are come yeah so no network do you know what is meant by network okay interconnected computer and sharing the data sharing the resources right that is we can say the network so what is that group of group of computer communicated to the each other okay interconnected to each other and sharing their information okay group of computers they are interlinked with each other or together to exchange Okay, to exchange the resources. Okay, to exchange the resources, each other. And do you know what is the name of the first network? That is what? ARPANET. Okay. So, these things I have also explained in my HTML videos. Okay. So, first network. First network name is arpanit okay what is that arpanit first network okay so advanced advanced research advanced research projects agency 
ओके दिस इज वॉट एडवांस रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट एजेंसी एंड ओके अरफा एंड यू नी टी फॉर वॉट नेटवर्क नेट वर्क राइट ए फॉर एडवांस आर फॉर रिसर्च पी फॉर प्रोजेक्ट ए फॉर एजेंसी एंड एन ई टी फॉर नेटवर्क ओके दैट्स इट सो इट वॉज डेवलप बिटवीन द टू कंप्यूटर्स ओके सो दिस इज वॉट फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट नेटवर्क इज दिस एंड इट इज डेवलप ओनली विद इन द टू कंप्यूटर्स ओके सो इट वॉज डेवलप बिटवीन टू कंप्यूटर ओके सो नेटवर्क शेयरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट आर स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दिम ओके देन 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 नेक्स्ट वन इज वॉट वॉट इज इंटरनेट इंटरनेट ओके इंटरनेट वॉट इज इंटरनेट ओके सी इंटरनेट मीन्स वॉट इन इंटर देन एन ई टी ओके सो दिस इज द वर्ड कम फ्रॉम द टू दिस द वर्ड टर्म इज कम फ्रॉम द टू वर्ड्स दैट इज वॉट इंटरनेट राइट इंटर एंड नेट मीन्स वॉट इंटरनेशनल ओके दैट इज वॉट इंटर नेशनल ओके इंटरनेशनल एंड एन ई टी वॉट नेटवर्क ओके सो वाय राइट नाउ वी आर यूजिंग इयर वॉट इंटरनेट ओके इंटरनेशनल नेटवर्क दैट्स इट ओके और 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 इंटरकनेक्टेड नेटवर्क ओके इंटर कनेक्टेड नेटवर्क ओके और कैन से द कलेक्शन ऑफ इट्स अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टी सी पी आई पी ओके यू नो आई पी प्रोटोकॉल इज रिक्वायर्ड टी सी पी आई पी इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डिवाइस रिसोर्स रिल सेंड एंड रिट्राई रिसीव द पैकेट्स डेटा पैकेट्स ओके सो सो दैट वी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एक्सेसिंग द इंटरनेट ओके कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विदाउट आई पी हाउ कैन एक्सेस द इंटरनेट ओके कम्युनिकेशन ओके कलेक्शन ऑफ टी सी पी आई पी कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल ओके टी सी पी आई पी प्रोटोकॉल्स राइट नेक्स्ट देन इमीजिएटली द टर्म इज कम देन वॉट इज प्रोटोकॉल ओके वॉट इज प्रोटोकॉल यस कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी वॉट इज प्रोटोकॉल यस डिफाइन प्रोटोकॉल वॉट इज प्रोटोकॉल you know sometimes say uh, prime minister have the some the certain protocols you no know? say this is having the some protocol please follow the protocol okay so this is collections of the rules with the standard rules right we have the something standard rules that is what one of the protocol we can say group of rules group of right so the it's a what collections of rules okay collections of rules right that between sender and receiver okay sender and receiver that is very important okay collections of rules between the sender and receiver that govern the communication between the two parties you can say the collections of rules okay everything it's a rule for governing the communication between the two parties that is what we are going to send and retrieve re re receive the data uh, now tcp tcp you know tcp networking you have learned i think tcp protocol what is the tcp okay transmission transmission control protocol i hope you have learned this thing have you heard this word first time hello tcp 
ओके डेट्स गुड नहीं तो और मुझे ऐसा लगता है अरे बाप रे फर्स्ट टाइम किसी पे वर्ड सुना ओ माय गॉड ओके ओके या सो नेटवर्किंग कॉन्सेप्ट ओके वी ऑलरेडी यूज इन डेली रूटिंग लाइफ ओके सो टी सी पी और यू कैन से इन द सिंपल वर्ड ओके वाट यू कैन से इन द सिंपल वर्ड इट इज द प्रोटोकॉल विट इज यूज टू इन नेटवर्क ओके दैट इज कनेक्टिंग द नेटवर्क दैट्स इट ओके दैट मे बी द लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क और इंटरनेट ओके और इंटरनेट ओके सो टी सी पी यूज यूज इन द इंटरनेट ओके इंटरनेट के लिए हम आई पी यूज करते हैं ठीक है अगेन मोन वन मोर कम कंफ्यूजन ओके टी सी पी इन एंड आई पी टी सी पी का यूज ओके इंटरनेट में होता है इंटरनेट में नहीं दैट इज वॉट लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क ओके द कंप्यूटर्स आर यू नो इन कॉलेज the website is only opening in your college that is not opening in the other okay that is uh, only okay, this website is open in your uh, co college campus okay that the system that is what intranet okay this is intranet within the organization means intranet okay and worldwide that is internet that's it okay within the intranet means intranet intranet मीन्स विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अब बैंकिंग में जाएंगे बैंकिंग डोमेन में ओके सो देर इज वन वेबसाइट इट कैन ओपन एंड देट वेबसाइट इज कनेक्टेड टू अगेन द सर्वर देन ओके बट विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट विल बी ओपन ओके वी कॉन्ट ओपन दैट वेबसाइट इन आवर कंप्यूटर और आवर वी कॉन्ट एक्सेस दैट वेबसाइट इन आवर फ्रॉम आवर डिवाइसेज राइट सो दैट ओनली ओपन द इंटरनेट मीन्स विद इन दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू द लैन ओके जो देर आर दंसेप्ट लैन वैन मैन एवरीथिंग ओके सो इंटरनेट ओके देन वॉट इज अन लैन इज अपू दन किलोमीटर मैन इज देयर मेट्रोपोलियन नेटवर्क फॉर द फिफ्टी किलोमीटर राइट वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क इज देयर आउट ऑफ द कंट्रीज राइट वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क टोटल मीन्स कंट्री हाँ सो इंटरनेट मीन्स विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन इंटरनेट मीन्स विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सॉरी सॉरी इंटरनेट मीन्स internet means worldwide okay we can use the worldwide that is what internet okay intranet means within the organization aise yaad rakhiye okay next so tcp ip uh, sorry tcp the protocol we are going to use in the lan connection and ip protocol use ip protocol use in yes okay okay so actually there is no problem from my side okay just wait and check okay yeah now okay okay good so intranet means within the organization internet means worldwide theek okay? hai intranet means jo bhi websites hai wo particular organization mein open hongi ठीक है इंटरनेट मीन्स एनी वन कैन एक्सेस दैट वेबसाइट ओके नेक्स्ट सो टी सी पी मीन्स दैट इज यूज इन द लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क ओनली ओके सो इट इज ओके लेट्स मेक वेरी सिंपल ओके इट इज द कनेक्टिविटी ओके कनेक्टिविटी इट इज द कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन बिटवीन द कंप्यूटर्स ओके बिटवीन द कंप्यूटर्स इन अ network in a network okay that is what what kind of network lan that is what local area network local area network right local area network or you can say intranet okay intra intranet so i have discussed about the intranet you know this one okay so here intranet means a tcp protocol so when you use a tcp protocol that is mean intranet when we use the ip protocol that is means internet okay 
so practical purpose i am giving you don't worry okay so in colleges we see only ah, what is tcp tcp is a transmission control protocol what is a different between tcp and udp udp is a user data game protocol like this way na is a connection less and connection oriented na connection oriented connection less that's it okay for uh, getting the marks in the examination that's it okay now the practically purpose so tcp that is it is used to connect the computers in the network but which kind of network only guys only local area network intranet within the organization and to run this uh, lan uh, to run the internet in the lan then we use ip internet protocol okay first of all we uh, you know we can connect the, all the computer in the network okay one network that is lan okay we have the 20 computers 20 computers we connected with each other by the lan cable that is what local area network in we, we applied one switch there okay switch okay so that is available in the lan so now one server is there so that i can attach there uh, one uh, ip address means the internet provider so when we attach there so every computer that will uh, internet will be uh, available okay so available to access right so that means this is we can say tcp oblique ip protocol okay so ip protocol means they are providing the internet okay tcp means connection this tcp means that is providing to the connect to the local area network okay that is the things are very important okay next one is what ip ip protocol for what connecting internet okay everyone have the ip protocol in your device right सो so, अगर आई पी प्रोटोकॉल नहीं रहता तो हम इंटरनेट से कनेक्ट नहीं कर पाते थे ओके सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई पी प्रोटोकॉल इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल वट इज नेम आई पी मीन्स इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल ओके दैट इज वॉट इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल ओके इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल okay so that is internet protocol so okay so yeah internet protocol we can say so that is use where it is provide a connectivity where connectivity okay it's provide a connectivity between what network connectivity between the networks in what wide area network that is what wan means wide area network okay so you know about wide area network means worldwide okay wide area networks okay all this country are connected with each other okay wide area network